he's going to be talking about the drug thing. Let's start from over here. I mean, that's Moroccan black, isn't it? Yeah. I forget, obviously, <laughs> you didn't know that. How much would this cost you on the street? About 60, 70 pounds. Ah, but you'd probably be getting ripped off if you had to pay that much. Yeah. I mean, you can get it cheaper than that. Okay. So what is the names for it? I mean, we all know it's called the bionic, the bomb, the pump, yeah. the black, the herb, the sensi, the chronic. Yeah. The sweet Mary Jane, the shit, the bomb, the ganja, the reefer, the bad, the Buddha, the ungrown, the ill, the Maui Maui, the method, the pot, the shake, the stank, the stress, the tide, the wacky. But is there any other terms that parents should be aware of? Puff, blow, lots of, lots of names, draw. And what is its effects? Uh, you can go paranoid, which means you think people or things are coming at you. Aye. Um, it makes your heart race, uh, your blood pressure can go low, so you can feel a bit woozy sometimes. It's got a, a lot of medical effects on the body. And is there any negative effects? <laughs> no, those are negative effects. Well, uh, long term, there are negative effects. So if you wanted to get started, would you recommend this as a good first smoke? I wouldn't recommend it, no. So, so far, this stuff is all legal. Uh, no, it's not. What, these things? No, but if you has got it in your home, then that is cool, isn't it? No, it's, it's, it's all illegal. It's all against the law. But if you was using it for personal use or whatever, you was, it's mm -hmm. legal if you has got like half a kilo or something like that. <laughs> I wouldn't like to try that on. All right. What if it's your religion? Then you have to convince the court it's your religion. But let's say someone don't look like a raster, but they's got a couple of Bob Marley records and he's got one of those hats with dreads attached or whatever. Yeah. Do you think that that would get them off in a court? Don't think so. Alright, All right. and which drugs is Class A? Class A drugs are the, well mainly the, the heroin and cocaine type of drugs. Does Class A absolutely guarantee that there is better quality? No, nothing to do with quality. We have total crap. Okay, so what is these? Um, chemical name is 3,4-methylene-dioxymethamphetamine, which is why a lot of people call it ecstasy. Ain't the most worrying thing about these, though, that it actually make you enjoy house music? Yeah, you enjoy music, yeah. Is there a chemical inside it that actually make you dance like a bellend? Yeah. You, it makes you dance. What is that it's, chemical called? Well, it's, it is, it's, it's the ecstasy. It's the actual chemical itself. How many E's can you take in one night and still be safe, if, it, if you ask to do it? Uh, some people can take um, two or three E's and no problems. Because I has never, ever taken any drugs and you can test me piss. But <laughs> I've got a mate called Dangerous Dave and I ain't going to say he's family name obviously, but he say that he has taken 22 E's in one night. Did he have a headache? Did he feel... Well, he said he was like, you know, he found it difficult to get to sleep, yeah. but the next day he was really buzzing and actually the people on the Egham to Rice Lip bus said that he drove it better than he ever done before. <laughs> so do you think it can actually help him? It wouldn't help you to drive a bus. Do you think it's ever right to give animals an E? Well, if you want to know more about a substance, I'd rather you gave it to uh, a Your rabbit pet. or a rat rather than uh, taking it yourself and testing it on yourself. For real, what if they look sad? Do you think it's right to give your animal an E then? <laughs> I don't think it would help. Because my mate Jesse F once fed one to his dog and it went mental and started barking and then tried to bone the cat. <laughs> Is that kind of thing possible? It's quite possible, yeah. Don't forget, um, one tablet is a lot for a dog. For real. Which is the type of acid that actually makes you fly? No acid makes you fly. But in acid can make you think you fly. But in day one, because my mate Dave said he took this type and he flew all around the room and then his mum told him to get some ciggies from the shop and he actually flew there down in the mountain you know, yeah. in the bus and, yeah. and flew back and was back in like five seconds or whatever <laughs> that he forgotten to buy the ciggies. Well, that's the answer, isn't it? 
You, you think things are happening to you. You, you may think you can fly, um, but your feet are still on the ground. They never leave the ground. And if you're not careful, you might trip up and hurt yourself. So, with the old thing here, what is the lesson, the real lesson that people out there need to know? Substances, chemicals, drugs, affect the way your body works. For real. Your body is beautifully constructed. Thank you. It works very, very well. If you take any of these things, you run a big risk of making it work not so well. Aye.